Welcome back to North Carolina Tree Identification Part 2 with Durham Soil and Water Conservation District. Let's brush up on the fact that forests can be divided into two main groups, coniferous and deciduous, or softwood and hardwood. Deciduous trees are angiosperms, or flowering plants. These plants have flowers and enclose their seeds in protective fruits. Deciduous forests are also known as hardwoods. Deciduous trees have broad leaves that lose their leaves during one season of the year, usually autumn. In fact, the term comes from the Latin word deciduous, which means to fall off. The trees have a growing season that lasts about six months. During this time, usually in the spring and the summer, the tree has leaves and is growing rapidly and storing food to be used during the fall and winter months. This food is stored in the tree's trunk, branches, and roots. In the autumn, the shortening days cause a chemical change within the tree that causes the leaves to change color and eventually fall off. Deciduous trees are dormant and do not grow during the winter months. And in the spring, warmer temperatures and longer days trigger another chemical change that causes leaves to once again grow. These new leaves immediately start to produce food for the tree to use and store for the next winter. Deciduous trees are flowering plants or angiosperms, and depending on the species, they produce incomplete flowers, which they are either male or female, or they produce complete flowers that have both male and female reproductive structures. The flower is the reproductive structure that produces the seeds, and these trees enclose their seeds in a protective structure called a fruit. North Carolina has more species of deciduous or hardwood trees than any other state in the United States. Deciduous trees are much more diverse than conifers. Hardwood trees make up about 68% of the forests found in our state. The American holly grows sparingly throughout the state from the coastal floodplains to 4,500 foot elevations in the mountain. It has spiny, wavy edged, glossy dark green leaves, and it's eye-catching and recognizable bright red berries. The American beech tree is found throughout the state but grows best in moist mountain coves. The leaves are two to six inches long, oblong and pointed, and are mostly grouped towards the end of the branches on short branchlets. Its distinctive buds are three-fourths to one inch long, slender, and sharp pointed and the twigs are slender and zigzagged. The tree typically grows 60 to 80 feet in height. The American Elm. The American Elm is most common on bottomlands and other fertile moist soils. The leaves are oval and have a long, slightly curved point. They are rough textured and four to six inches long. The bark is dark gray and divided into irregular flat top thick ridges. The American elm can reach an average height of 75 to 100 feet. Black cherry, often called wild cherry, go, grows throughout the state but grows best in the high mountains. It does not grow well on swampy or dry sites. The leaves are 2 to 6 inches long and are narrowly oval or oblong and pointed. And this tree's height can reach 60 to 100 feet and about one to five feet in diameter for its trunk. The black gum tree. The black gum tree grows throughout the state in many types of soil and soil moisture conditions. The slender limbs grow at right angles to the trunk and the leaves are alternate, roughly oval with short blue points. The fruit is round, dark blue and clustered on stalks and this is a medium sized tree that grows 30 to 40 feet tall with one to two feet in its trunk diameter. The Eastern Redbud. The redbud is a smaller tree that grows beneath trees, typically at the edge of fields, on hillsides, and in valleys throughout the state. It's most, the most abundant tree in the Piedmont and the least abundant in the mountains. It grows roughly 15 to 30 feet tall with a six to 10 inch in diameter trunk and the bark is dark gray to black. 
The leaves are alternate, heart-shaped, smooth, margined, and three to five inches long and wide. The bright purplish-red pea-shaped flowers are a signature of the redbud tree and grow in clusters along the twigs in small branches. The hackberry tree. This, can be, this tree can be found sparsely throughout the state, except in the high mountains. This tree commonly grows 30 to 40 feet in height and 1 to 2 feet in diameter for its trunk. The leaves are asymmetrical oval, about 2 and a half inches long, with sharply toothed margins, and a globular fruit. The bark is grayish and generally smooth, with characteristics of corky warts or ridges. The mulberry tree. This tree grows throughout North Carolina. It grows best in the rich red soils of the lower and middle sections of the state, but is not abundant in any one section. It, its leaves are alternate, thin, rounded, or somewhat heart-shaped, tooth-pointed, and has rough hairy above and soft hairy beneath the leaf, and they are roughly three to five inches long. The fruit resembles a blackberry and is edible, Mulberry trees are a smaller tree, only 20 to 30 feet tall, and the bark is a dark brown with a reddish fringe. The persimmon tree, found throughout the state except in the higher mountains, has broad oblong leaves that are roughly 4 to 6 inches long and 2 to 3 inches wide. The leaf has a smooth margin and a broad, flat midrib and small, conspicuous dark veins on the underside. The fruit on the persimmon tree is edible when ripe, a rich reddish purple berry that contains flattened oblong seeds. The bark pattern is easy to recognize, being dark colored and deeply divided into thick small square plates. The river birch. As the only native birch found at low elevations in the south, it's commonly found, as the name implies, along waterways inhabiting deep, rich soils throughout the state, except in the higher mountain regions. It, its leaves are roughly oval, pointed, about an inch and a half long, and with double-toothed margins. River birch grows to be about 70 to 80 feet in height, with a 1 to 3 foot diameter trunk, and the pro bark provides the most distinguishing mark of this tree. It varies from reddish brown to cinnamon red, in color and peels back in tough papery layers. The sourwood tree. Sourwood is found scattered throughout the state on both rich and poor soils and is a smaller tree of 30 to 40 feet in height and 8 to 12 inches in diameter. The bark is thin, light gray and divided into narrow shallow ridges with the young twigs lacking terminal buds. The flowers are small, white and cream colored, and about 5 to 10 inches long on the ends of twigs. Willow oak, or often called water oak or pin oak, this tree can be found statewide except on higher slopes or in the mountains. It's most found in the lowlands and along the borders of rivers and swamps. Willow oak is named for its willow-like leaves that are 2 to 5 inches long, narrow, smooth edge, and tipped with bristle points. The light yellowish brown or greenish brown acorns are small with thin, flat, scaly cups. The young bark is generally smooth and reddish brown. The winged elm. The winged elm is scattered all over the state except for in the mountains and is usually found on dry, gravelly uplands but can also grow in moist soils. Its leaves are about an inch and a half to three and a half inches long oblong oval, pointed, rough textured, and coarsely toothed on the margins. The orange-red fruits are covered with a light-colored fuzz, and this tree can grow to be 40 to 50 feet in height with a 1 to 2 foot in diameter tree trunk. Don't forget to join us on part 3 of North Carolina Tree Identification with Durham Soil and Water.